Welcome. This is the Daily News on Remo TV and I am Leo Miyoji. For our headlines, His Royal Highness Obatimwati Oishola Kinsoya celebrates his birthday and coronation anniversary in grand style of royalty. Prince Dapwa Biodo mourns the passing of Bola Jibola, the ex-minister for justice. Adebukola Sara Ola Deji Foundation football tourney begins with massive turnout and participation. Burner Boy sets YouTube record with guest appearance on Sudo Moswala's post humor single, Marana. Let's take a short break, I'll be right back. Welcome back, the news in full. It was an atmosphere of celebration as kings, chiefs, princes, princesses and politicians came all into the city of Macon on Saturday the 8th of April 2023 to celebrate the 80th birthday celebration and 15th coronation anniversary of His Royal Highness Obatimoti Rishola Kinsoya Arumba II, the EOC of Macon Kingdom, Shagamu. The event, which started on Friday with a cultural display, took the touch of essence on Saturday as the king, in company of his Olori, walked out in matching outfits, looking radiant and exuding what royalty, class and fashion is all about. The grand finale witnessed a perfect cultural performance from the Benin Dance Group, who in their ability brought dance fusions and steps to their best. Some dignitaries in attendance were Prince Dakwa Biodu, ably represented, Oba Dr. Babatunde Adewali Ajayi, Ashwaju SK Onofo Mr. Sami Ogunjimi, and Prince Abdul Abayomi, amongst many others. Contributing to the donations of proposed projects in Makon Kingdom, Honorable Lola Dipupa Debutsu donated 10 million naira, and in addition, another 10 million naira for special use and development for the palace and king of Ewusi of Makon. Contributing to the donation of proposed projects in Makon Kingdom, Honorable Oladupupa Debutu donated 10 million naira and in addition another 10 million naira for special use and development for the palace and the OC of Makon, which brought his total donation to 20 million naira. The birthday and coronation celebration was rounded off yesterday, 9th of April, with a Thanksgiving service at the United African Methodist Church, Shagamu Diocese. Governor Dakwa Piotr of Ogun State has commiserated with the President Major General Muhammad Ubuari and the nation's judiciary on the passing of the former Attorney General and Minister for Justice, Prince Bola Ajibola, who died yesterday morning at the age of 89. Governor Dakwa Biodun said in a statement, Words cannot adequately convey my heartfelt sorrow over Papa's death, for he was a kind and beautiful soul who spread love to all who he encountered. He was a jewel of the law profession and an accomplished judicial officer of prodigious rule. Baba was a go-getter who delivered on any assignment committed to his hands because of his belief that service should always come first. On behalf of the government and the people of Ogun State, I commiserate with the immediate family of the deceased on this very huge loss. May the Almighty Allah grant the family the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. End of quote. On sports. The first edition of the Adebukola Sarala Deji Foundation football tourney started on Saturday, the 8th April 2023, with a massive turnout from both the teams, spectators, and supporters of all teams participating respectively. The game saw Dream FC Dragons CRM United to a defeat of 5 to 0, Car Park CFC progressing to the next stage of the competition after defeating Bollers FC on penalties. Lifters FC also progressed into the semi-finals after a narrow escape from the hands of Young Rema FC team. And finally, Amazing Grace FC joining the semi-finalists. From the 
the results of the semi-final games which happened on Sunday 9th April. Carpark CFC and Dream FC are set to battle it out in the finals as they both defeated their opponents in the semi-finals. On entertainment, Nigerian Grammy-winning musician Burna Boy paid tribute to Sidumu Swala after his death and the artist also appeared on the late artist's posthumous release Marina. The music video directed and edited by Nafkaran Bra portrays Sidumu's colossal fame and how his fans continue to pay tribute to him. The video also includes a snippet of Canadian rapper Drake wearing a t-shirt with Sudo's portrait printed on it. The song, released on April 7, 2023, has been an instant hit, garnering over 14.9 million views on YouTube within 24 hours, with over 2 million likes and 1 million comments. The video also includes a snippet of Canadian rapper Drake wearing a t-shirt with Sudo's portrait printed on it. The song released on April 7, 2023, has been an instant hit, garnering over 14.9 million views on YouTube within 24 hours, with over 2 million likes and 1 million comments. After his death, Sudo Muswala's music continues to resonate with fans worldwide, and his collaboration with Burna Boy has been particularly received well. Burna Boy was one of the few artists that Sido had expressed a desire to collaborate with before his untimely death. That's it on the news updates. Please follow us for more updates on our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Official Rama TV. You can also visit our website at www.ramatv.com.ng. I am Neo Muji. Bye for now.